What is up guys? It is an absolutely gorgeous morning here on Lake Superior. And my goal today is to actually catch a trout through the ice sight fishing on Lake Superior. We've got high sun. We should be able to see really well. I've heard the bite's been slow, but I know sometimes these spike and browns go really shallow and people tend to overlook those fish. So we're gonna see if we can't catch one sight fishing. Um, I've been fishing a little deeper here this morning till the sun got up and I have not caught any fish. I did mark a couple but uh, we're gonna go set the shack up shallow now. See if we can't make something happen. All right guys, so I'm all set up in here in the dark house. I set up in nine feet of water. I can see the bottom, no problem. And uh, as a matter of fact, I already saw one splake come through and before I got everything set up. Um, so that's a good sign. I almost caught him. He came in and didn't hit but that means there's fish here. So we'll, we'll stick it out for a good chunk of time here and uh, see if we can't catch something. But I've got my video camera set up so I can see underwater as well. And then I'm gonna have it in the hole shot. So we're looking straight down the hole. And if anything comes in, we should be able to see it pretty well. So um, it's about nine o'clock. We got plenty of light, plenty of day. So we'll see what happens. All right guys, it's about, uh, a little before 10 o'clock here and haven't seen anything but a little perch since I set up and saw that spike. This is kind of boring honestly. So I'm gonna have a little snack but you gotta have some intense focus to do this for a long period of time. Stare down the hole and watch that bait but um, hopefully we get some more action soon. But I'm gonna go check the set line here in a second and see if there's anything happening out there. But first I'm gonna eat my Uncrustable. Oh, there's a fish. Come on, buddy, come on. What was that? Oh, there he is. Come on, hit it, it's a herring. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, that was cool. There's more. Oh, they're so shallow. Oh, got him. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> okay, well, not the target species. But uh, very cool, nonetheless. Oh, we got, that. We got another one here. Oh, we missed. It. There's still some more down there. Okay, we gotta get back down. It's crazy. Oh, there he is. Got him. Got him. Got another one. What is this? This ain't a herring. This is not a herring. Oh, I think it's a salmon. Wow, that's crazy. I think it's a coho. Oh, he came off. Oh. All right, guys, well, that was pretty nuts. I uh, just landed an absolute tank of a herring here. And there were a whole bunch of other fish that came in and I'm pretty sure I hooked a really colored up coho is what I think it was after looking at the footage, but um, almost doubled. I don't know how that fish came off. It was a real bummer, but hopefully we can get some more coming through. That was super cool. Oh, that's fun. Oh, oh, fish, fish, fish. my minnow got him I didn't even see him coming it just no he got off oh. Oh, there we go. I just missed a really nice flake I actually had him hooked for a little bit and uh, I was I had just seen a fish kind of swim past and ignore all my lures 
I think it might have been a spike and then I looked over about 10 minutes later and my bobber was down so I grabbed the line and I was tying on a swim bait at the time because I wanted to try something different because that first fish ignored it well I grabbed the grabbed the rod set the hook a couple good head shakes I didn't even know what it was yet until I looked at the footage but so splake gone it was a nice one uh, that's fish number two that we've lost today I lost that nice salmon earlier too but hopefully we can land something other than this herring here we still got time and there's fish around so all right guys I moved back out deep for a little bit just to take a break uh, just lost that nice splake and fished another little while and didn't see anything so I moved back out to 55 here we're gonna see if we can't catch a lake trout or a whitefish here for the next couple of hours and then we'll go finish out the day for the last hour or two back in the shack and try some more sight fishing so a lot of times I've had good experience uh, coming out here midday when it's super high bright sun and chasing these lake trout and whitefish it seems like they kind of turn on about this time of day so we'll see what happens here oh fish 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 got him got him I think we got a whitefish here I guess. Oh yeah. There was a bunch more down there. I gotta get right back down because there was more. Picked up one white fish out there and I had lots and lots of chasers, lots of follows, but they were uh, just not hitting. So there's a they're out there um, and I had had fun chasing them. I just missed one and then caught the one. So we're back in the shack here for the last hour and a half. See if we can't catch some. All right, guys, I'm packing up here and uh, did not see a fish for the last hour and a half. It really slowed down, but it was a gorgeous day out here today. I didn't quite get what I came for uh, as far as catching that trout, um, but we were this close, which was awesome. I will get it done eventually. I want to catch a, a nice trout through the ice sight fishing here, but we did catch fish sight fishing, so that is a start. And uh, we hooked up a few fish. I'm bringing home a nice white fish and a nice herring today, so hopefully we'll do it again. See you next time. Get hooked up.